This video is going to teach you how to apply a header row to a table in a Word document. In this uh, document, we see a table which has four columns and several rows, because of which the table is quite long and extends through several pages. Now, when the readers are reading this document, if there is not a constant and fixed header row appearing in each page where the table appears, they may be confused and they may get lost while reading the table content. Therefore, we are trying to fix um, row number two here as, as the content which appears in each page as a table header, as a row a table um, header, and which basically makes the table more clear to the readers. We'll see how we can do that. In order to do that, we need to separate in this table row number one from row number two. We will click over here right before the word level, which is the first, wo uh, first word appearing in, in this row number two, and then go to insert and choose break and then section break next page. You will notice that row number one of the table has now been separated from row number two. Similarly, when we go down the table and we reach the last row of the table, we also need to separate this row from the rest of the table. So we will click over here, then go to insert, choose break, and then choose section break next page. When we do that, we will see that a separate row has been established for this part of the table and the main table where we want the header rows to repeat gets separated from it as well as the earlier portion of the table. Okay, now we are going to proceed to apply the header rows to the, to the portion of the table where we want it to appear. In order to do this, we have to highlight the row which we want repeated across the table and then go to the table layout tab. So uh, to reach that, we click on the table layout and then in the data area, we are going to find something called the repeat headers. So you're going to click on that. Once we do that, we will notice that this row, which was row number two of the original table, has been repeated in all the pages where the table appears. So this becomes a nice header row for the table and now readers of the content in the, in the table are more clear on what they're reading about. So this was how you applied header rows to a table in a Word document.